and welcome to Art Club. Today is a really special one. We're doing this on behalf of Theatre Yolo today. I've been behind the scenes creating 200 creative play packs for you at home. So there are other ways you can help spread kindness. You can donate to a Theatre Yolo creative play pack and help some families create together over this time. You can have a look on Theatre Yolo's website and social media channels to be able to donate to those packs if you'd like. So the creative packs I've been working on here, they're full of lots of inspiration and ideas and it's all about your imagination. So there's lots of worksheets and templates and things in there. Um, and then inside, it's full of lots of wonderful things, which I'll be showing you later. Um, so today, our make is going to be a lovely lantern. These are wonderful for gifts, especially over festive times or different festivals, even just to lighten up and brighten up your home. Um, these get really addictive to make and they're really simple. So I'm gonna show you some little tips today on how to create your own lantern. In your creative pack, there's lots of inspiration and there's also a lantern make there and you'll be able to download these worksheets if you need any extra help and you can make along with me today. I would love to see what you create, so hashtag YOLO create and let us know what you've been making, especially from your pack and if you make any of the lanterns or any of the other lovely makes with the kit. So make sure you tag in Theatre YOLO and YOLO create. Let's get started. First of all, I'll show you some materials and equipment that you need, and then we'll get started on our make together. So first of all, if you have the Creative Play Box, you can use that. Otherwise, you can use materials from home. So open this up, take a look inside. You need a pair of scissors, a brush, some PVA glue, or you can mix flour and water candle, could be some fairy lights or a tea light, just be careful, and some tissue paper which could be old wrapping or something you have at home. So now you're ready to make your lantern. So first of all take your jar, make sure the lid is off and then leave that aside. Get all your equipment organised and then decide what colours you're going to use of the tissue paper. So it might be you just have one colour or a few, it's completely up to you. You might want to do a whole rainbow of colours. And what you can do is take a few, let's go with red, yellow, purple, hmm, one other colour, let's do a nice blue too. You can cut shapes if you like to, you can make a whole picture on there, especially if you have black tissue paper because you could make silhouettes and shapes on top. So it's completely up to you what you do. Um, some design ideas with the tissue paper, so you could do a silhouette on your jar if you like to. You could maybe do a jar full of sunshine, um, or you could even collect some leaves and petals and stick them onto your jar. So it's completely up to you what you do. Um, for mine today, I'm going to keep it nice and simple, um, use your scissors, you could cut strips if you like to, and you could end up with stripes, going that way or going across if you like to, you could cut squares or circles or even a heart, so you could do a jar of kindness for people if you like to, maybe you could fill it full of some lovely memories, so then once you've cut your strips, you can put them all together and cut them, it's much easier. And then just cut across if you're doing squares. So this takes a little bit of concentration, <laughs> my concentrated face there. So just take your time. This bit's quite nice and enjoyable. You can rip the tissue paper if you want texture. Um, so it's completely up to you. So it's nice to experiment really with different patterns. Um, you could cut circles or triangles, it's completely up to you. So once you feel like you've got enough uh, of the pieces cut, I think I'll do one more just to be on the safe side. Then comes the fun bit then, the bit I like, where you get a little bit messy. So be careful with your clothes if you're using PVA. But you should be fine and make sure you've covered your table with something that you don't mind getting covered in glue. Take your jar, you're just going to pop a bit of glue on that with your brush. 
do it in sections, much easier and easier for it to dry. And then take your tissue paper and pop it on top just like that and just keep going. The trick with this is to layer it as well because it ends up looking like stained glass and the colours shine through so it's lovely when you blend and mix the colours um, together like so. So you just keep going. So that's all you're doing is taking your colours up to you if you have a certain order you'd like the colours in but I just think have fun experimenting and creating and just keep going for it. So you'll see, be careful, you might need just a little tissue or cloth if you end up getting glue on your fingers because the tissue paper will stick to it. So just keep going. These are lovely to do together, maybe on a cold evening or if it's nice and sunny, you can go outside and do them and leave them to dry. So they're a really lovely craft to do together. you should just keep going keep layering up your jar and you can decide whether you want to cover it all the way up or whether you want to leave some space or maybe some shapes so just keep going you'll see it takes a little bit of time to come together but they're really magical once they're lit up especially in the evening Maybe the trick is to do different colours next to each other, not the same, but obviously you can just keep layering and having fun with it. And these are great to do for any age, you could help more little hands if you'd like to. Um, and I've done it with my lovely little niece, little Pud, and she's been fine with these, so she's three. Let's keep going, where am I going to go next with this? Let's go there. So you'll see, it'll start to take shape quite quickly, but there's no rush with this, it's really nice little calm craft to do just to have some nice thoughts going on maybe some music in the background and just keep going <laughs> you can see it's trying to stick to my fingers now instead of the jar okay so you can pop the jar down that way if it's easier or just like that or even hold it in your hand carefully you could also use plastic if you want to. Any plastic bottles would do. You can cut them down carefully. So you can recycle all sorts with these and you'll find you'll have a house full of them before long. You can see I'm thinking of which colors next now. really starting to come together now it's really nice to add some color to your day with these so I'll just do the final edging which is at the top and again you may want to decorate with different things so if you've got the creative pack there's gems inside there so we could stick a few gems on um, it could be anything recycled like a broken necklace or something that you might want to take off some beads and stick on. Even some foil cut up would be nice because that would give it a really nice reflection. So obviously you're going to have a lot more time and care over this. I'm doing this nice and quick to show you uh, how it looks. Let's just keep going. You could cut smaller shapes if you want it more delicate, but it does end up looking just like stained glass. So you might want to actually create more of a picture and do like a sunburst in a jar or a rainbow jar. So we're coming nearly to the end. I think one more piece on there. So you need to make sure they're glued down correctly because you will see some that are popping up. So what you can do then, if there's not too much glue on the outside, you can then paint over the top to seal it, okay? But you may need to wait for it to dry and take a little tea break or biscuit break as it can tear. I'll show you now. So if you're too, 
if you're not so gentle with it, wait for it to dry or otherwise you'll break it. So you can even just lay another piece over the top. And depending on how see-through or opaque you want it, you can layer more colour on top or you could make sure that's one layer there, so it's much lighter, much lighter here, or you could do more layers over the top if you don't want it to show through as much, the light. And then take a little time to wait for it to dry. Once that's dried, go over the top with your glue, nice and gently. Make sure you've covered it all and there's no pieces sticking up. This is lovely to do just to take your mind off other things and busy things going on in the world um, just to have something calm to focus on and obviously lovely to have a bit of colour so make sure you've covered it all in glue be generous just go back around make sure any glue blobs are just flattened out that will dry nice and clear then we have to wait for that to dry first to do your decoration over the top. So take a little break, tea break, biscuit break, and come back to see the gems added to your jar. So now your lovely jar is dry, it's time to decorate it. So it could be things you have to hand at home. You could use things in your creative pack if you wanted to use a pipe cleaner or anything else to decorate it. But also some sticky gems are great. You could use foil, all sorts. So just add a little bit of sparkle, which I love, just to give it a bit of magic. And there's lots of ways you could do this in a recycled element. Now you can be very, organized with this and ordered if you want to do it around a certain level of the jar otherwise you can just be random of course like I'm gonna be and just have fun sticking them around you don't have to put too many on there if you don't want to it's just enough to catch the light let's pop one more now your jar is all decorated and dry you can then add some light to it so either with fairy lights or candle and you can just take in a little bit of magic these are lovely put up on your windowsill maybe for passers-by to see and really beautiful to give as gifts to you can add things inside them if you like but just make sure you're using a battery candle otherwise if it's a flame don't add any paper or anything inside of your jar so there we have it, your beautiful lantern maker. You can light up. There's lots of different designs here that you can try at home. They don't have to be the same shape or same style, any size jar as well. And if you want the lid on it, you could decorate that as well. But these are beautiful um, to just have right at home. You can add other designs on top, even hearts or shapes or circles just something to take in the magic and add a bit of colour and sparkle to your day. Thank you for creating along with me today. I cannot wait to see your magical lantern makes. Make sure you hashtag YOLO create and have a look on their social media channels. Tag in your beautiful designs. I cannot wait to see.